Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to something completely new. I don't know if any of you guys are going to like it. I know this was requested by a, a bunch of you guys during the stream. But without further ado, E here. So, it has been brought to my attention that some of you would like to see uh, vlogs from me. So I'm going to show you the walking track that I've been doing. Sorry, this is like lap 11, I think. And I'm tired, I'm sweaty, I'm hot. So, without further ado, this is my walking track. Hey, I got a schoolhouse, old schoolhouse. They don't use it anymore. There's a bathroom there on the right. Then, a gazebo. Way over there, I don't know if you can see it, is a brick church. My, uh, my vehicle, uh, playground, and then all the way back to that gazebo over there. They walk horses out here, so there's horse crap all over. Adds a, you know, a feeling of adventure, trying to miss the, the horse shit. Y'all, I'm tired. Alright, so, uh, if you're, in case you're wondering what, uh, I was listening to, I had the earbuds in, I'm, uh, listening to Hearts in Atlantis to refresh my memory, because after I get done with this string, these last nine episodes of Thursday Theorist, once I get done with that, I'm going to take probably a week break, and I'm going to jump right back into it with Hearts and Atlantis, and uh, then I'm going to do all of the uh, novella collections out of order because of the way I want to talk about them. So, and then we're going to do the short story collections, then we're going to do the collaborations, and then we're going to do the Dark Tower series. No, the Bachman books before the, no, we'll do them after the collaborations. So the Bachman books will be last before we go into the Dark Tower. Anyways, so I'm going to go home and take about eight showers. I'm not driving, by the way. I didn't want anybody to think that I was driving. I'm just sitting here. So um, I'm not being an idiot, I promise. Back again. We got fiber. New fire pit. $200 at Lowe's. Really nice. Anyway, it is Mother's Day, and we are about to grill out, have a cookout. Then we are going to put some logs in the new fire pit. It's a very chill day. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, it was an exciting morning though. But Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming to an end. And we are going to spend time with the ladies in our life. Right now, my mother is inside. And Shell is inside. But soon we will all be out here enjoying ourselves. There's the ever famous Ashy. <laughs> Ash. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> no! Hey, yeah, what's up? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, cooking out. Being cooking stupid. out. Yeah. yeah. Autumn said we're being stupid. Mm. Not really. Oh, his Shh. Pants up. I did. They're over there playing dolls. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh. Hi. What? Oh, there's Chris. Say hi, Chris. <laughs> what are we doing tonight, Chris? We're cooking out and I'm being stupid. We're cooking out and I'm being stupid. Just like a little brother. Yeah. And them tiki torches. I feel like a white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna hurt you. He's not gonna. He is not. You know him. He's not gonna. Hurt you. I hope these hamburgers hold up. Because they don't want to. Come here. They said you can't tell me what to do, human. Don't burn yourself. Hey, I'm going to hell. Don't burn myself. No, it's going to stick to the spatula. Ah! Well, then spray the spatula. I don't have butter no spray. It. Butter it. Butter it. You want me to butter the spatula? Yeah, who doesn't stick? <laughs> what? We, we, we need to have a discussion on how to cook. <laughs> We're going to butter the spatula, y'all. <laughs> this is how we butter the spatula. spatula. <laughs> I got a spatula. <sighs> ah, what them is? Oh, my goodness. Did you get me? <laughs> Sizzle. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I've had an eventful couple days. Um, it was Mother's Day, as you guys saw in the last couple clips. Um, by the way, I'm back at the track, the same track you guys saw in the in the first clips. Um, this is Tuesday. Uh, that was Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I don't even remember at this point. Last two days have been hectic. Got into some drama uh, with. Uh, another author uh for the first time not my fault that's kind of weird being in that predicament so 
right after that, on Mother's Day, um, as you saw in the video, we were doing a cookout. We get done eating. And my mom says, what are your plans tonight? And I was like, I don't know, I'm just going to go home, probably read and relax. She goes, well, I've had chest pains for an hour and a half, and uh, I think I need to go to the emergency room. <laughs> Y'all, I've never been so terrified in my life. So we're on the way up to... <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing. It's gallows humor for me now. It wasn't funny at the time. It's still not really funny. It's more that I can't believe it. My mother told me, I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruin your meal. Mind you, it's Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And this is my mother telling me she didn't want to ruin my meal because she was having chest pains. So, okay, we get up to the emergency room. They rush her back. They do all the tests. She's fine. Um... They're thinking it was her blood pressure. They they put her in observation overnight. They admitted her, put her in observation. In the morning, her blood pressure was nuts. So they kept her throughout the, the morning and the mid-afternoon and then finally released her that night. Then I come home to even more drama from Mr. Author Man. And if you follow me on Twitter, you could you can look at it. I'm 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 done with it. I'm done with the drama, but it's the it's the kind of shit that builds because this morning I am so on edge that I spilled a whole cup of coffee on a stack of books. I had set a stack of books beside my bed because I was entering them into Goodreads last night. And I got done and I just didn't put them back. So this morning I spilled coffee all over them. Um, they got stained side, the not the spines, but you know, the side where you can see the paper, the, those are stained. Brand new books too. You'll see them in the book hall when I eventually get it done. And then I go over to my mother's house to see how she's doing. I open up the freezer to get ice, and I drop a bag of blueberries. The blueberries burst all over the place. Now I'm fully expecting to have a coronary <laughs> while I'm out here walking. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. Like I said, it's gallows humor. But this, the past two days have just been god fucking awful. 45 minutes later. Whew. Those first four laps, I did, did 12. Those first, I keep, my phone keeps slipping off the steering wheel. Those first four laps are murder. Um, but once you get over, at least once I get over those first four laps, it's not as bad. Um, I guess everything starts to warm up. I don't even, I don't know the science of it. I'm not, I'm not a fitness expert. I'm just trying to be less fat. I mean, that's just it, right? You I got kids to live for. Anyways, I got, I got to thinking while I was walking about all the little piddly shit that happened this morning. You know, the dropping the dropping the coffee, dropping the uh, the blueberries. And when I say I dropped the blueberries and they burst, I'm talking about the bag busted open and the blueberries went everywhere. But I got to thinking about these things and then I thought about mom, you know, and her mortality and my mortality and all that stuff and got to thinking real deep. I had to thinking about all this drama that happened this weekend and the little piddly shit that happened today and you know, it just, it just doesn't matter. You know, I don't know why I let my headspace be occupied by stuff that doesn't matter. I don't know why any of us do it. You know, out here walking, I get to actually decompress and I get to actually think. It's tough. I mean, I'm sweating, I'm hot, my face is the same color as my uh, bandana. Uh, it's, it's hard work, but it's worth it.